I'm back with a very important video on how to stop frying your brain with your cell phone. Now, I've talked about this in other videos, but I wanted to do a series of videos on something called EMF and try to break it down really, really simple. It's going to be a fairly short video, but I'm going to show you what I do to minimize what's called invisible radiation. So EMF, what is it? It stands for electromagnetic field. So what does that mean? Well, you have an electric component to it. You have a magnetic field part of it. And you also have other fields of energy, radio frequencies, and even microwaves. Typically, you think of microwaves being the microwave oven, but there's other things that will give you microwaves, including your cell phone. The problem is it's not regulated by safety codes at this time. So it's kind of like um, at some point in time, people started smoking and smoking was considered actually beneficial for you. You also had DDT, which was considered beneficial. You also had asbestos, which was considered safe. And then you had sugar, which was considered beneficial at one time. And then years later, they find out, oh, we didn't do the safety uh, testing on that long enough. So whoops, sorry. So we're going to put some regulation in. So right now, unfortunately, there's not a lot of um, safety testing going on. Now let's first talk about the electrical fields. So you have all these little electrons going through a wire that's called the current going through the wire. And the pressure that's pushing this electricity is called the voltage. So it's the pressure from a power source. So the more pressure or more, and some people might have the consideration of the wall because at the outlet level, fields only occur if it's live. If there's field only occurs if there's current. And for that topic, you have the cell tower is sending signals every so often. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually make a call. I'm gonna call Jared. So you can, you can see that it's pulsing like this. So all these microwaves are going right to your brain if it's held up close to your skull. Now in the future, I'm gonna do some other videos to show you how to identify other sources of invisible radiation uh, using this tool right here. I like the Trifield EMF meter model TF2. I have other devices. This seems to be very simple. It's very accurate. And um, I'm going to show you what I found with my power cables, my backup on my computer for a very the magnetic being. Um, I have these earbuds, they're headphones with, and the problem is that this is not gonna connect into your cell phone Okay, so you have to get a, a, an adapter.